I don't think that a lot of our sister services know of their history of of their participation in all of this. So that's been fun doing uh, the history and teaching it. I, I think um, maybe not. They don't know the history of the unknown. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. But I think you know, from a Marine Corps perspective, we had that movie Taking Chance that did you know kind of go into guarding one of your brothers when they came home from war you know, as before they got buried. And I think, is that something similar that they do with all the unknowns? Well, ship? I, yes and no. Let me, let me give you a good example. So in 1921, when the world war one unknown soldier was selected in France, um, he was taken to the coast, uh, where he met the USS Olympia. So the Olympia is still around. It's a steel war, uh, ship of its era. It's in Philadelphia at the oh. independent seaport museum. You can, you know, go on the ship and stand where the unknown soldier was strapped to the deck. Wow. So that's the story. When the unknown soldier came aboard, the casket was too big to go through the holds. And the captain of the ship said, I'm not turning it on its side and I'm not putting this guy in a cargo hold. And the Marine uh, detachment commander at the time, uh, when, when the unknown soldier first came on, he was placed on the fan tail of the ship. And the Marine captain said, that's not a good place. That That's just you know, that's a recipe for disaster. Let's move him to better ground. And uh, the Marine captain who's uh, Graves Erskine. So if, you know, any Marine out there knows their history, that's World War II era General Erskine, uh, quite the man himself. But he was a young captain and had the duty. Wow. And so he moved the casket to higher ground. And because the Marines were providing the 24-hour watch, they strapped the unknown soldier to the ship. And then they strapped themselves to the ship. So they tied off knowing that if the ship were, were to go down, there's no way the unknown soldiers coming off the ship, they're going down with it. And so through driving rain and the remnants of two hurricanes as they're making this transit across the Atlantic from France to Washington, D.C., you've got young Marines that are standing up there taking an absolute beating in horrible weather, standing the watch and maintaining the vigil. And that really starts a lot of what tomb guards do. And we and and that's I think is a part of the Marine Corps history that they don't know that story. We gotta get them one way or the other. Machine gun. Fire, fire, bullets fly, they're 